Ferrari Motorsports. I don't know how long ago that was in video time, but in real life, I was just there two days ago, and I actually saw a couple items there at the used NASCAR shop side of that warehouse that I wanted to pick up, and uh, I've kind of been thinking about doing a project similar to this to where, where we're gonna need these parts, and uh, I mean, for I compared prices of new parts versus the used parts that we're about to go attempt to buy and man each one of these parts if I had built it myself would have been $400 plus uh, a shroud and the shroud would have been I don't know I, I'd have to make something some kind of carbon fiber shroud and uh, I can pick these these used cup pieces up for $95 a piece so uh, let's go ahead and Head up to SRI, we'll uh, go pick up the items and uh, we'll show you what we pick up. That is, if we end up do buying them, so. All right guys, well here's what we picked up from SRI. This is a pair of oil coolers and carbon fiber shroud. As you guys can see, it is carbon fiber. And if you guys look, there is an advertised price for $95. I end up getting these for $90 each. And to be honest, guys, you can't buy a quality oil cooler for that cheap. You know, I looked online, I was actually gonna look at improved racing for a similar setup to this. Almost $400 per oil cooler, doesn't include the brackets, doesn't include a shroud of any type. And you know, so once I saw this pair, I was like, huh, that actually might be a good, good deal. So came home, I didn't have a tape measure or anything. And so came home on Monday, I was like, eh, think about it. Then I started looking at other people's setups and they used very similar size coolers like these. And uh, maybe not the shroud, you know, but you know, it came with carbon fiber shrouds. We can't beat that. And just doing some rough fit up, you know, basically for looking below the headlight, you know, that would fit. I'm not saying it's a perfect fit, but you know, I think we could make that work. You know, it looks something, something along those lines. And even if we end up not using the shrouds, because the shrouds do add probably, oh, a half inch on each side, so half inch bottom, half inch top. You know, it probably does add another inch overall in height. We could still end up using these oil coolers with no issue. To cut them out, all you gotta do is cut the silicone here. There are some, there's a bracket and two rivets right here. Drill out these two rivets, remove the bracket, and the cooler should pop right out. And the nice thing about these coolers is the AN fittings going into it are on the side. It's not on the top or bottom. So, you know, we could mount it like that. We could mount it like that and, you know, up and down, kind of how they are on the cup car. And one of these I think was actually used in a recent race. Well, or it's a backup. So this was used on the number 42. I'm not sure who the driver was of the Daytona 500 this year. Uh, I don't remember when uh, the driver of the 42 got kicked out of NASCAR, but it was either that driver or the replacement driver. And uh, yeah, so this was a backup on the 42 car. So, you know, that's, that's pretty cool. If you ever have any issues, we can always bleed them. There's uh, bleeders on top and bottom. So, you know, this should work out pretty well. And like I said, for $90 for both of these, I think we're good. Um, obviously that won't work with a stock bumper. We've got plans for that. I've kind of had a plan in my mind for a while. And, uh, so we might end up using just the cooler. I might be using the whole setup. I just don't know. It kind of just depends on how everything's going to work out. So that's the oil coolers. And, uh, one side will be the transmission cooler on the passenger side. And on the driver's side, this side, it would end up being the oil cooler because the trans cooler lines come up on the passenger side of the car and the oil cooler lines come up on the driver's side of the car. So that's how the oil coolers would be used. Now these coolers do have some gear oil in them, so I'll have to clean that out. You know, I'll probably just run some kind of, uh, you know, cleaner that they use in a parts washer. Just use some kind of solvent like that. Clean these out, make sure there's no metal or anything in them because who knows, like this one says a backup, but who the hell knows, you know, it could be 
I don't want any bases, you don't want any parts of the spider gear or anything out of the rear end of a NASCAR end up ending through my motor or the transmission. So, all right, guys, that's pretty much gonna be it for the oil cooler video. You know, kind of showed you a little bit of a mock up and how they're gonna look, but I'm still working on some details on the bumper, whether we're gonna run this bumper, we're gonna modify this bumper, run a different bumper. Just not sure yet, I'm still working on those details right now. But if you guys wanna see those oil ventilation cooling videos, hit that subscribe button, turn on your bell notifications as well. And uh, I won't be able to provide a link to those because I bought those at a NASCAR shop. But if I find a part number on them, I'll try to share them with you and we'll go from there. Also, if you guys wanna help support the channel, check out our website, bonecrusherss.com. Thanks guys, have a great one.